to be the Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I'm bringing you guys two different gameplays in one video. I just want to kind of explain a couple things about NBA 2K15 and a lot of the bull crap that goes on in my career. Now, in that first clip you saw that Dirk Nowinski was in the post and I use that play a lot. In order to win on Hall of Fame default or Hall of Fame simulation, real player percentage, whatever you're playing on, you need some type of move to get pass your defender, get out on the break, and send it into the post to somebody that can actually shoot. Now right here you see me grabbing a rebound and I'm not scared to use my teammates. Sometimes you have to use your teammates. If you want to win, don't try putting up 80 points on the board and then the CPU coming down scoring every single time. Alright? And the first half is now in the books. Mavericks ahead, they're up by six. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Well, what a great job you did, both moving the ball and passing it and scoring it. What has been the key for you to this point? Uh, I mean, I just try to take what the defense gives me, really. I know I just can't try to go at them every time, but if they give me a look, I'll shoot it. Otherwise, I'm just trying to keep the ball moving. Good luck with that, young man. Kevin. A young talent looking to do whatever it takes to make it in the NBA. All right, guys, in these next few clips, you're going to see my fast break prowess. But what I want to talk to you guys about is the steals. It seems like in NBA 2K15, steals are very, very common. And what comes with steals? A lot of turnovers. People may make it seem like, oh, well, you're just ass and, you know, you don't know how to play basketball. There's a very, very high ratio in steals and turnovers in NBA 2K15. I've had so many people come complain to me about, you know, CP3 throwing lobs to nobody. Or, you know, players camping out in the paint, waiting on their pass, not playing defense, not playing their defender, but actually waiting for somebody to pass the ball to the person they're guarding. So I think that, you know, steals are at a very high ratio and you can take advantage of it and you can also get shut down like that. But definitely use the fast break. Don't ever stop using the fast break, y'all. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Plenty of assists for you in this win tonight. Did you see something in their defense that you were able to exploit? Uh, I don't know if I saw anything, but my teammates certainly did. They all did a fantastic job of finding the open spots on the floor. All I had to do was get the ball to them. Yo, they made my life easy. Congratulations. Terrific job. Humble Kevin, even with a stellar effort. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we hop into the next game, I want to stress something to you guys. A lot of people keep asking about what are these new upgrades awarded? Basically, 2K has capped how many upgrades you can get. So in order to unlock upgrades, which are the bars for playmaker, defender, outside scorer, inside scorer, athlete, you have to unlock these as the game goes along in my career, okay? They are the upgrade bars. They're the attributes, all right? Let's go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, starting this game out, we have Tyson Chandler winning the tip and we're going to get right to it on offense. Me, basically, I run a lot of things, a lot of different sets and I try out a lot of things early in the game. Just right there, I get past my defender and I try out my jump shot. Now the reason why I try out my jump shot, because if my jump shot falls from a move like that, I know that that will be available as a move to score all game. 
Now you guys saw right there that I got the cookies and I immediately passed it off to Ellis. Even though I got stopped, I still don't think I would have tried to take that all the way to the rim on my own. I like getting assists in transition because they are the easiest to get. And not many times the computer takes your cookies unless you throw a bounce pass. Now right here, I pull up again just because my jump shot is working right now. Now this is going to get me in a rhythm, believe it or not. As I make jump shots, as I get hotter, things will work for me. I can get to the rack. I can make contact layups. I can do all different types of things. But the computer is going to eventually get hot as well. Now, a lot of people is probably looking at the gameplay like, yo, Brooklyn really ass. You know, what difficulty are you playing on? Right now, everything just seems to be working. We're moving the ball. You know, defenders are jumping. It's just, you know, the way things are working out. Some games, to me, feel scripted. You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, I even got a tweet from uh, one of the devs for 2K, and they said, we don't script games. But some of these games actually feel scripted in order for you to see a cutscene after the game, in order for you to practice and get better. Because if you're on a winning streak, those cutscenes will actually never happen. So somehow, some way, 2K makes me shoot bad and shoot everything like that. But check out the score. It is currently 14 to 40. I don't know what's currently going on. I only have 12 points and 3 assists. So I don't know who's scoring all of the other bulk of points. But we are getting out on a break. And like I told you guys, my jump shot is working. All I got to do is get my defender off his game just a little bit. And things will work. Now, right here, I'm just trying to run a little set play, see if anybody is open. And I catch Dirk, and Dirk seems like he's always open. I promise you, Dirk can shoot with a defender in his face, and he'll make the shot. I will have to say, if you're playing my career and, you know, you just won or lost the playoffs or whatever, if you made it in your first season, sign with a team that has a cheesy post player. If you do that, you're guaranteed to win an X amount of games from ease you know you don't have to do any work you can call a quick post up and let the player go to work you can cut to the basket for the rebound if you want but you can also stay out to the three just so they won't run any fast breaks now i totally no sold the entire second quarter almost but brooklyn put a little bit of points on the board you know they scored uh probably about 20 points in about six minutes but we did as well now we're almost up 30 now look at that little move right there if a player loses the ball, right, there's no reason that they should take X amount of steps into the backcourt. He should have just grabbed the ball and stopped. I think that, you know, animations are really, really big in 2K15, and they kind of make you mad because you're like, yo, my player shouldn't do that. But then when you see the computer do it, you're happy, and you're like, aha, I got you. But I think that, you know, 2K is stepping in a direction where animations are just way too key in gameplay when it's not how it's supposed to be. You know, it's not supposed to be all about animations. Now, just like right there, how I got stuck in the animation as the player bumped me. But, uh, you know, I totally no-sold some other quarters because we're up so much. But I just wanted to show you all the animations and all the dribble moves, and I was still able to get to the paint, and I got a dunk. Like, can anybody say cheese? I'm just saying. Can anybody say cheese? But, uh, you know, he almost made a full court shot. But uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next few cutscenes. I'll be right back. Um, also, I do have a player of the game that I want to show you guys. So uh, keep watching. I promise. And guess who I meet? Pharrell. Hey, Pharrell. I thought that was you, man. Hey, man. Good game. Hey, thanks. Maybe I catch you later? Maybe.
All right, it's time to go to the tunnel in the arena after the game. Oh yeah. There he is. Hey, hey how are things back home? Same as they ever were. All right, all right. <laughs> Listen, when are you gonna come over to the house and have dinner? You know, Jeannie thinks I haven't invited you yet. All right, <laughs> listen, tell her as soon as things slow down for me. So probably in the off season, okay? All right, sounds like a plan. Now listen, you stay focused out there. You make your old ball coach proud. All right, yes sir, I will, okay? All right. All right. All right, that's pretty cool, you know, talking to your high school coach. Oh, I'm at the crib. Who the hell coming? Okay, I've been thinking. That's never a good thing. Huh, funny guy. That's why I like you so much. Always keeping it light. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Anyway, you're really starting to make a name for yourself. So with more eyeballs on you, I think it's time for you to start doing a little more to really uh, stand out. All right. You know, get the uh, word of mouth machine churning. So what are you thinking? You need to start doing pregame rituals. You know, LeBron's got the chalk toss, uh, KG headbutts the stanchion. You know, something to uh, get the people buzzing about you. Keep your name trending. Yeah, I like the idea of creating something that people can associate with me. That's cool. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, well, uh, I'll let you think about it, pick one out, and uh, I look forward to seeing it debut before the next game. Now, the funny thing about this is, guys, I've already had pregame rituals. Now, I noticed that 2K has, you know, added a few different unlocks as you progress, such as picking my own music for when I come out. But I've already had pregame rituals. You know, I've had the uh, checking the weight of the ball. I've had the handshake. I've had the on camera. Look, I already have things equipped. We don't need that. You know what? Let's cut to the next scene. Now, check it out. I wanted to tell you guys about some more badges that I got. The badges, they kind of rack in a little bit. Now, I noticed as a point guard that I get specific badges in the set order. Like, uh, I got all my dribbling badges first. And then I started getting mental ones as, you know, I started answering certain questions the way I wanted to answer them. But I will have to tell you that where I am in my career, in real life, I am like in the playoffs right now. I have so much gameplay to give you guys. That's why I'm starting to put two games into one and I hope you like those videos that way because uh, the next like three or four videos, I'll probably be giving you two at a time. So uh, leave in the comment section if you want me to make two videos in one or if you just want me to make one six minute video or something like that, you know, keeping them short because I know you guys are busy. You know, everybody's busy playing 2K, right? Dealing with these servers, can't get on the park. Yeah.